We are live. Back in the cupboard again with some coinage on the live stream. Second live of today. <clears throat> Who do we have in? What is going on, people? MJ Stewart, hello. I don't think I recognise your name. Stevie Rob, definitely recognise your name. How is it going? Is it nearly finished? No, it's, we're just starting. We are just starting. Darren, hello. Snapdragon, hello. The reason the orange juice is in the thumbnail is because we were having a discussion about orange juice earlier on. Do you have it with bits in it or do you have it smooth? I love the, I love the orange juice with the bits in it. Caused a bit of controversy earlier on. <laughs> Were you lucky enough to get a breast cancer two pounds? No, I did not get one of them, no. I've got five hundred pounds in two pound coins and two hundred and fifty pounds of fifty pences. Two bags. Hello, Robert. Yeah, that was another one that must have sell, sold out really quickly, That uh, the breast cancer's two pound coins. <clears throat> and on the secondary market, they're fetching like 200 quid or something now. Just, uh, just started going collecting and found a Kew Gardens and sold it for 35 quid. Maybe you should have sold it for 135 pounds. <laughs> Over a hundred pounds is about the going rate just now. I've not got much fifty pence luck at the moment, although I did have a good a good hunt a couple of hunts ago. Two pound coin hunts. That's all I need to say about them. Gold digger Dave is in, hello. Jude, hello, Janet, hello. You can watch it at your home. <laughs> hey. I'm looking forward to Friday if I can make it. Weather depending, work depending. I should be down there. If I get a if I get a good run down in the car, we'll see what happens, Dave. Seven, eight hours, I'm thinking, drive maybe. I've done it in six, less than six and a half before. So if I get a good run like that, that would be good, but I uh, never know. Next, hello. David is back in again, hello. So we did do a 10 pence hunt and a 20 pence hunt earlier on. I did not find anything in the 20 pences. I did 15 bags of them. But what a haul we got from the 10 pences. One bag of 10 pences. We got all that lot. Two T's, an S, two T's, two different years as well. An S from 2019, a jersey, and something from Albania. So that was pretty cool to see. The horse and a guy on it. Five hours. That's a drive and a half. Yeah, it is. Should be worth it, though. I know I can do it. <laughs> I did it in a one that uh, when I went down myself, 
the last time I did it in a one, I didn't even stop. Just went for it. I needed a pee for about three hours, but I just went for it. <laughs> I just kept going. I just uh, I just wanted to wanted to get down there, and that was it. Get down there, relax. That's it. Eh? How's everybody's day been then? Who all had snow today? We had snow in Falkirk, Grangemouth, Stirling, Alloa, uh, Linlithgow. Wherever I went, wherever I drove today, there was snow. Snow everywhere. 2017 German 2. I don't know if I've got a 2017 or not. It's maybe worth a shout. P, P mint mark. Um, there'll be an A. Oh, I can't remember if I had an A, G, G, I. I can't remember. There's five different mint marks on them. Some dates from Europe in the chat. Or outside Britain in Europe. I'll be able to tell you. Can I show my 20 pence book? If I've got it to hand. Um, what ones is the 20 pence is in? Oh. 20 pences. Let's get let's get this out of the road then. Then we can do some coin hunting. Who asked? Who asked for the 20 pence book there? Um, Robert. Oh, nearly knocking over that glass of orange juice. I need to crack open the door as well for the cupboards because I'm just out of the shower and it'll probably get quite condensation in here. Twenty pences. What do you want to see with the twenty pences? That's my full date run there. That's just normal circulating twenty pences. These are kind of error ones or ones with but other bits of metal on them and the no date one. Who else have we got in? None here on Fife, Fife Coast. No snow at all. Hi Dan, how you doing? I'm still trying to get rid of this glitter that came out of that card you gave me. Honestly. <laughs> still finding little bits of green everywhere in here. I think I need to hoover my mat. Gwena, hello. Dave Collin, thanks for joining in this evening. You think there should be Royal Mints in Scotland, England, Northern Ireland? It would be cool if there were shops and like a straight your own kind of thing. That would be handy. Condensation. -y. That's a word. Clearly a word. Done your first ever 10, 10 p hunt. Got B, S, and U. And a quarter door. Nice one. I've never found a quarter. Never found a quarter in my 10 pence hunts. Never. All Isle of Man 20 pences. Right. Let's see then. Let's see if you can see them. This book is overflowing with them. Oh no, it's all falling to bits. I'll need to sort this out later on. That can get chucked outside for a sec. The only ones that you're not going to see here are the Gumsy ones. Move this back outside now. I've not got any place to put it. There we go. Sorted. Right, these are all the Jersey ones at the top here. These are all different years. Every single one of these is a different year. So we've got 15 there. And there is Isle of Man clocks. 
lights playing a bit of havoc there. There we go. There, Isle of Man clocks. They're all different years as well. And that's a bit better there. Eh? Jamesy boy, good evening. Who else have I missed that's chatting? Jamesy boy, Jamesy boy. Uptown Rick, hello. Womble. Yeah, back again. Back again. Coin roll hunting, hello. How are you doing? Do I have any to trade? Probably. These are Isle of Man. Guernsey, Jersey, Falkland Islands. Um, what have we got? Ascension Island in here as well. Gibraltar. These are my favourite 20 pences. The Isle of Man. Rally car ones. And every coin in here, even though there is some duplicates, they're all different years. That's what I keep. And, uh, Russian Abbey there as well. Gibraltarian Keys and a kind of older Isle of Man one down here as well. There you go, there's some of my 20 pences that you asked for a look at. Charlie, hopefully some 50 pence luck tonight, hopefully. We'll see what happens. We will see. You're from Jersey, uh, West Sellers. I just caught your name there before it went. Nice 20p collection. It's no bad, it's getting there. So well camouflaged, I know. Jamesy, I've still got the juice out as well for you. There you go. That's why it was in the, the thumbnail at the start. <laughs> Hi, Julio. Have I said hi already? I don't know. Right, let's get cracked on with the 50 pences. I'm doing the 50 pences first. From Hamilton, by the looks of things. I think it's Hamilton. Something House in Hamilton. Stamped on the 22nd. So nearly a week ago. And checked by Martin. So if your name's Martin and you've checked, checked this... So, hopefully you've left some luck in here for me. So these are from the post office. Usually the bags I get from the post office are like sealed bags as well, but that's the last two weeks in a row I've had 50 pence bags like this from the post office, so I don't know what's happening here. They must just have some spare and they're sending them out or whatever instead of being in sealed bags and little sealed bags inside as well, because I like the bags better. Right. Had to go to three Bank of Scotland today and none of them had 10 pences. Well, that's unlucky. I went to another bank today as well, asked for 50 pences and two pound coins and never had them. I was just passing anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Jude, good luck. Thank you very much. Hit that like button for Andy, folks. Thank you, Stevie. Yeah, Stevie Rob, hit that like button if you want. If your name's Bungle, you'll hit that thumbs down button. I'll not say anymore. <laughs> predictions. My predictions are that my 50 pence looks not been that great, apart from that one hunt I've done before the Olympics this year. Okay, yeah, let's get cracked in about this thing. My predictions are that we'll find some 2019 shields. My predictions are we'll find Paddingtons. 
Oh, suck at Paddington's. Well, that's a good start, isn't it? Let's see if uh, let's see if this is going to play ball. Oh, what have we got here? Did anybody see that when I flicked over there? First coin out the bag. Charlie, my guess is two Olympics. Well, if it keeps going like this, we'll hopefully get more than two Olympics. Canoeing, first, first coin out the bag. Not bad at all. And the next one's a commemorative as well. Two thousand seventeen. Peter Rabbit. I showed that. I think I showed that too quickly there because uh, everybody's still guessing. Let's see if I can get us to focus again. I think I've got the knack of this camera now. Maybe. Judo Mackenzie. I wish it was a judo. See, he's finding a top five Olympic. Oh, hard. Coins and more UK is in as well. Hello. And hi, to, hi to Mackenzie as well. Someone's bag we'll, we'll find it shortly, won't we? It's probably not. It's probably just... Nah. Just got lucky at the start there. Another... Oh, we're getting rid of the rabbits already. Another 2017 Peter Rabbit. That was some start to a bag. Some start indeed. I just watched the uh, I just watched Laughter's video as well and he had some 50p hunt again. He has got the 50 pencil up. I've got the 50 pen uh, he yeah. he's got the 50 pence luck and I've got the two pound luck. I think that's what's happening this year. You're guessing canoeing, you're lagging. Right, if anybody's got a problem with their internet connection or it buffers or anything like that, uh, just come out and go back in because a, a few people had that issue earlier on in their stream earlier on. I don't know what's happening. It, it seems okay at my end, but a few people did have a bit of bother earlier on. So just click back out the video and come back in and it should be sorted. There's another decent find. Battle of Hastings. You can always tell that for the front as well. It's got the denomination on it and no year. You can always tell that what that's going to be. Watching from hospital. I hope you're all right. Q for sure. <laughs> you're right. Monty, good evening. Just had surgery on your back. Oh, there's a 2016, right? Oh, I need a, I need a duck. <laughs> I've not had a duck for ages. Beatrix Potter anniversary. Not to be sniffed at. I think quite a lot of them, though. Yeah, I had snow this morning. A wee bit of snow actually this morning for it being Grangemouth. We don't usually get snow too much, but we got a bit this morning. And there is our first Benjamin Bunny for the gold bar, and that reminds me to get the gold bar into shot. Another Benjamin Bunny, and another well, it's our first Benjamin Bunny, and another 2017 Peter Rabbit. The gold bar. You can see all the Benjamin bunnies in the top here. We're not far away. I keep saying it every every hunt we do. I keep saying we're not far away for filling this, but I think it will still take a while. <laughs> I have a feeling you are going to hit Q the night. Your luck's been tremendous. Yeah, it has. I would agree. To be fair, it's only time until I get a queue. The amount of 50 pences I go through 
the more you hunt through, as somebody said on my stream earlier on, the more you hunt through, the more you'll find. So, well, that's a theory anyway. And that's why I did not give up with the Commonwealths last year at all. Kept going, kept going. And then this year's been pretty lucky so far. Could you maybe shout out my giveaway that I'm doing, please? Yeah, Robin. There you go. Robin GW is doing a giveaway. Victoria Cross medals. It's quite a reasonable condition one, actually. Usually the ones you see are all kind of chewed up and that. You can still see the dates on that pretty well. Yeah. It is, it's quite an overlooked coin, that, I think. It's, it's a really nice design on that, just because it's so common. What is it, 12 million or something, I think? People are kind of bored of, bored of seeing them. Ten spaces left. Have I missed something there? Ten spaces left. I don't know. Total coins. Hello. What what is going on with these rabbits? That's like the fourth, the fourth 2017. We've had already. There's another 2016. I just caught it when I flipped it over there. Can we do the full set of rabbits tonight? Do you think? You think we'll get a 2018? I'm not going to get a 2019, but if we can get a 2018, that would be pretty cool. Ten spaces left in the gold, but oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes I'm just so far behind on, on the chat. There's another Benjamin Bunny. Oh, was it today? Did they release another breast cancer coin today? Right. No, I didn't. I didn't even know there was one out today. I knew there was one out previously. Was that last last year? The two pound coin. But it's for, if it's from the Pop Joy Mint, I'm not interested in Pop Joy Mint anymore. I'm really not interested in. Uh, the only thing I'm interested in getting for the Pop Joy Mint is coins that I know aren't going to sell out quick. Because the hassle I had. With the website, it's no fun. Jeremy Fisher, I, I spent three hours. Basically, I've spent three hours trying to get the uh, Hercules coins. An hour each time, faffing about. There's, there's no point. Well, it was Westminster, was it? I didn't. I didn't even know about that. I don't know how I didn't know about that. I never had any emails or anything for them today, so. Two years ago. I lost. Oh, well. Missed it then. Not to worry. And there's Tom Kitten. Oh, like 200. Oof. 200. What what a uh, what country was it for? It wasn't it a British coin, was it? The last one was for Gibraltar, I think. Is it Gibraltar again? Mackenzie, have I already got a queue? Yes, I do. I do. I've had three in my possession at one point. No, I've had I have had three in my possession. Two thousand nineteen shields galore here.
I've had like three emails every day since I arrived back from holiday from West Westminster. Nothing mentioned about the coin. It was a Gibraltar one. Yeah. I don't know why I don't get emails for, for uh, or maybe they do go in my spam actually. That's maybe what it is. I'll need to check that. And there's Sherlock Holmes. Don't be jealous, Mackenzie. Was it a 50 pence or a £2 coin they released? Did you say that? Was it a £2 coin? Charlie, I wouldn't bother going back to Gibraltar. I've been before. I know Trev Coins to Collect is going to Gibraltar. To be honest, I'm not too fussed about it. That's the only thing I would be going for. <laughs> Coins. Here's the Paddingtons at the cathedral. Two of. Probably a few more to come. And another Sherlock. Takes me to go to Falkirk, never mind Gibraltar. <laughs> this is like a bag of 2019s here. 2019s. And here we go with the Benjamin Bunnies. Hello, Karen. How are you doing? Right and cue, really. You say Team Tower. Team Power Station. It does look like a power station. <laughs> I've not actually found any Commonwealth so far. Look. Not even a Commonwealth 50 pence. <laughs> we'll do the £2 bag at last. Well, oh, next and last. So that's all I've got two bags. Is that what, is that what you're calling it, the, the Jamesy boy? Paddington at the power station. Oh, we all know what it looks like. Yeah, I did. Uh, I briefly saw that tower uh, coin. It just, it's a bit weird looking. It just looks like it's damaged or something a bit, doesn't it? And I can hear the rain again. Another bunny. Yeah, whoever said there's 10 bunnies left to go in that bar, oof, we might do it tonight. A representation of the People Act. It's a good way to get rid of your Paddingtons, just doing the shopping with them. <laughs> I paid. I, I went into Tesco the other day, and my I had no I had no change in me apart from I just did a two pound coin hunt. So I had loads of two pound coins in my wallet. I ended up giving them to the wife at the till in Asda. She had just started, and her till was already full, so she couldn't get the two pound coins in the till. So I had to put them under the till, which is quite funny. But such is life, eh? <laughs> From a sealed bag. I see it like they came out, they, uh, they were all Paddingtons. 
Put a sealed bag right for the post office. I didn't realise that. Well, that's pretty interesting. It looks like torn ice. Norfolk is in again. Hello. Jim Bone is in. Hello. 2019 Shields and Paddies. Yeah. Well, if it's came straight for the mint, then. Another Paddington. And a Libraries. First Libraries. It's, ha it's actually happened a few times that the best coin I have pulled out in a hunt has been the first one. And it might actually happen again. <laughs> Crazy, eh? The first coin. 43 people in the cupboard. No bad. It's getting warm in here. Another Sherlock. There it is. There we are. Paddington at the White House. It was all Paddington's adventures just in London though, like the like the books and the films and that. Was it always in London? After he was, after they came from Peru. Thank you, Total Coins. Hit that like button. You're enjoying being in the cupboard. You have earned your spanner. <laughs> Contact Guinness Book of Rec uh, World Records for the most people in the cupboard. Another Paddington at St. Paul's. I'm actually getting more of them tonight than I have the other one. Tom Kitten. <laughs> it's cramped in the cupboard. Nobody dropped one. Sorry. I still didn't edit once I came off my last live stream. I said I was going to do it, but I ended up just going down having dinner and watching YouTube for a wee while on the sofa. So I need to get another couple of videos out because I've got loads filmed. Three more £2 hunts and two fifty pence hunts still to edit and upload, but easy now because I've got a new laptop and it is a rendering machine. So I can basically film, film something edit it, render it, and upload it within like an hour and a half now, which is brilliant. It doesn't take me hours and hours. Another Paddington at St. Paul's. I'll not start with the teams. No. no, I shouldn't have said that. Has anybody in the chat ever found a 2009, 10, 11, 16, or 18, 50 pence in change? Paddington in the doll queue. <laughs> Paddington at the Pal at St Paul's and Palace of Books, Paddington at the Tower too. You only know because you Googled it. 
don't know. I think Paddington went to Spain. Kian found 2010 proof shield in a hunt. Mm, that's pretty decent, look. Not bad at all. I always just check when I'm going along all the dates of the coins. Ah, there's a lovely coin. I found one of them for a while. There's a little beauty. It has been a long while since I found one of them, I think. WWF. And the last time I found one of these, I found two in the one hunt. I think I'd only found one before that on my channel. So this might be number four I've found in over a year. <laughs> Total coins says they're common. We can't all find 55 in one hunt. Stuart. <laughs> oh, brilliant. And it has the same obverse as Q Gardens and the Commonwealth. Oh, there we go. Oh, beauty. Caught me off guard a wee bit there. It's a lot of, a lot of people's favourite uh, 50 pence, that. One of mine as well. It's definitely up there. And if we start finding 2020 Team GBs in our change as well, that'll be up there as well. And there is a Christopher Ironside. Yeah, so like the 2020. That's what I said. If anybody watched my live stream I did on the 1st of January this year, and I was just like filming the coins on a phone. To be honest, I was pretty drunk. I don't know if you ever, I don't know if you noticed. But I was just like, oh, it's very reminiscent of the WWF coin. And I sounded like that at the time because I could hardly speak. <laughs> Silver proof. I got the silver proof. Ah, that's nice. Like another Tom Kitten. Seen plenty of him today. And another 2017 Peter Rabbit. Seen plenty of him today as well. And on saying that, there's another one. And another people at. The drunk one. Is it just me? I'm not so keen on the 2020s. Maybe, maybe Janet. Maybe so. I quite like, I quite like all the designs um, of the 2020s that were in the year set. Apart from the victory one, I'm really no into it. I'm really, I'm really. Ah. I'm just uh, not taken away from what it represent, re represents and all that again, but. Nah. And there was one for the armistice. Was that last year or the year before? I think it was last year, the two pound coin for the armistice. Nah, didn't like that either. That's probably my least favourite two pound coin, that armistice one for last year. And it wasn't in, well, it didn't come out in circulation, obviously, but. It was in the sets at the start of the year. Oh, these bunnies, by the way. Bunnies are going for it tonight. They also almost got it for 40 quid, the silver proof. That's pretty decent. Don't like the Brexit coin. Yeah, Charlie, I'm not really into the Brexit coin either, but it's got a bit of hype behind it. We'll start finding them, hopefully. Well, I, I said on the live stream earlier on that I said to my woman at the post office, I usually drop in there on a Tuesday 
So she's going to order 50 pences in. Um, she'll, probably, she'll probably order them in Monday or Tuesday, actually. So maybe later on next week, might get some. See what happens. That's no guarantees I'll get any. No guarantees at all, but I'm presuming I will. Three million. Three million initial release isn't a lot. But maybe later on in the year I'll end up getting some bags of them. We'll see. William, hello. I don't like the victory in Europe. Two pound the faces look like the rag dolls. I agree. I don't like it. Tobias, hello. Is it this Friday the Brexit coins going to circulation? Yes, I do think so. Um, Hi, Friday. Whether they're already released, like on Friday morning or whatever, I don't know. But the lovely lady at the post office is going to help me out with them. If she can. The Brexit strike your own looks like it's going to be expensive to buy. Yeah, ten ten pounds. That's a special. I think it's coming in special packaging though. Uh, just for that twenty four hours, Stevie. Paddington at the off license. Is that a beer too far? Yeah. Canami, hello. What have, what have you missed? Um, fifty pences. First bag out was a canoeing. First coin out. Of the first bag was a canoeing, and we found a lovely WWF as well. I had totally forgot about WWFs because I've not found one in ages. Some people already selling them for like 50 quid. Yeah, pro people will try and sell them already. Yeah, there's going to be 10 million in total, three, 3 million released on Friday, I think. And then another seven million later on in the year. Brexit it strike your own Friday, ten quid, and then it's back to the normal six pound, six pound ninety, six pound ninety, because you get a ten pence and change for it. Do you know? You're not allowed to get money for the post office. That's a shame. 2018, Paddington at the Buckingham Palace. Have I been to the Mint? Yeah, I've been three times to the Royal Mint, yeah. You're getting the special strike your own packaging one on Friday. Are you going to the Royal Mint, Dave? Are you going down to the Royal Mint on Friday then? How did I get there? I drove. There is a video of... Uh, oh, there's another 2016. Can we do it? Another Paddington at St. Paul's as well. I've been down three times, once in 2017, twice last year. I missed out 2018 completely. And then possibly I'll be going on Friday. Come on. Ah, another one. Yeah, Charlie, um, I've got a video. I've got a video. I've started saying that, actually. If you go back, what is it, six months or something on my channel, you'll see a video. I could actually probably post a link to it. If my channel will let me do it. Let me see. Videos. 
how long ago how long ago was that video right five months ago there we go there's a video of the last time or it was twice ago i went down to the royal mint twice ago two times ago whatever it is I think I need to reset this camera a wee bit. It's looking awfully white in here. Let's see if I can do this. Nah. Planes on the way back. Yeah, Janet. So I stopped back at the Mac Loop on the way back as well. I drove through Wales up to kind of central Wales. And I stopped at the Mac Loop to see some RAF testing. Well, it's not just RAF that fly there. It's all just low-flying planes and the such like. There's another 2016. I flipped over too quick. I'm going for it with the 2016s, though. Let's go to Not a bad little find. I hope it's going to be two different strike your owns by that time. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe, Stevie. Hopefully. Rewatched your mint trip video last night. The best mint video of all coin tubers. Well, I, I did put a little bit of effort into it. £500 bag, 50 pences. Only three commemoratives. What? That's pretty rubbish. Your video of the RAF Hawks was a terrific. Yes, it was. Nice one, Charlie. Right, so my, my theory on this, Monty, is I went back and checked all the year sets. Every single year set for 2000... Uh, 2000... 1997, when these 50 pences were released. So, from 1998, when they started doing commemorative 50 pences, every commemorative 50 pence in a year set has been put into circulation. So, if they stop it this year, well, that would just be my luck, probably, me saying that now. Another Paddington at the Palace. Paddington at the Palace. Today, three Olympics. Now that's good. No, that's very good. Well, I found one Olympic today, and it was the first coin of the hunt. <laughs> Another Sherlock. Where are we? Keep losing Sherlock's. And another Paddington at the power station. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the trip, that trip was the first video of yours I watched. Ah, nice one, Stevie. Somebody said to me the other day, like a, a vlog video to the Royal Mint would be good if like I catch a plane down. I will do it at some point. I'll be sure I'll be flying down at some point. And I'll do a kind of vlog video of that going down instead of the driving with my with my camera on the dashboard. Because that was a bit precarious at some point. Any cues not in this hunt so far, but I do have some cues. I wonder how many cues I actually have. I've probably got about... Oh, I'm going to say I've got about 300 cues. But they're all 10 pences. Oh, that's had a hard life, that 50 pence. Another 2018. Can it be a 2018 Potter? Here is hoping. No, it's not. It's another one of them stupid Paddingtons.
Paddy. Let's hope so. I love it to be released. So, so I uh, love it if it's released. Naeem, you've had mad luck. Yeah, <laughs> I have had mad luck. Not so much the 50 pences, but the £2 coins have been incredible this year so far. Just hope I've not peaked too soon at the start of the year. And I have more £2 coin hunts that I have filmed and I should get out either this week or next week. And just stay tuned for them as well. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. That is all I'm saying. Do the mints still have alphabet 10 P's in the till? Apparently they do. Do I get able to sell you that? Because he was just down. You just down at the Royal Mint at the weekend, Gordon. I think you were, eh? Is that, is that this weekend or last, last weekend or the weekend before? Well, 2017 Peter Rabbit. Boring. Yeah, it's 100 quid for a flight. So you can actually fly to Bristol for about half the price, but then you need to rent a car, obviously. And Bristol's only about an hour away. Like, it's no far. I've, I've driven from Bristol to, uh, to the Mint before. I stayed just just outside Bristol before when I was visiting the Royal Mint one year. Paddington at the cathedral has taken over. Um, from Edinburgh, I can't remember from Edinburgh for Glasgow. I can't, it was probably for Edinburgh because Edinburgh airport's a lot easier to get to for me. So... Seemingly, are, they are back in the tills. I think they only did it for like a couple of days or something. Let me see you on the flight. At some point, the next couple of times I'm going down, I'll probably be driving. Let's see. Five from the tills. Sunday is ten on the spot. Hmm. Flying on the 28th. You can get 10p coins every Wednesday. And swap five. Nice one, Simon. Cheers for the info. Same glorious town as Andy. I wouldn't go too far saying it's a glorious town like that. Right, last bag of 50 pences then. It's not been a bad wee hunt. No bad. You live three miles for the mint. Oh my goodness. Benjamin Bunny. Do you go quite a lot then, Simon? I'd be skint. I'd be properly skint, mate. <laughs> I'd be doing there all the time, spending money. Another Paddington. Another Paddington, and we've got another 2018 after this, so I'm guessing it's going to be a Paddington. People act. Party of Simons. <laughs> Old Fire Sky City. Yep. You can see it from anywhere. It's a homing beacon. That's what it is. That's all it is. You just drive in the direction of the, the fire and you get home. It's easy. It's like a homing pigeon. Let's all crash at Simons. Let's all crash at Simons. 
<تصفيق> رأي فور تو ثوزن و سكستينز ايفرين ايوس ايوه ويتشيك كم من الباتنتنز بيقو فور اول ديز بومن تيمز One, two, three, four. Four Paddington at the power station. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Paddington goes at first date's restaurant. That was one of Caledonian coins. I'm just stealing that film because it's quite funny. And four Paddingtons at Buckingham Palace. I think that is the first hunt I've done that there has been more Paddingtons at the Cathedral than there has been Paddingtons at the Tower of London. First coin is the best. Well, it's, like, it's between that or WWF. I think I think WWF's taking it from me this time. Because I don't find a lot of them at all. The Canoon coin. It is an Olympic, but it's probably the one I least I least like out of them all. And it is a bit grubby that one as well. When do you think the 50p? When will you think the thing is off 50p will be circulating? I don't know if they will be circulating or not. But there is some information of they could be released in February. But potentially not into circulation. It might just be another case of brilliant uncirculated or silver proofs or whatever. You have to buy them. Fifty peas in the bowl. In the bar. Not the bowl. You know what? Put the fifty peas in the bowl. It'll be a bit crunchy. Right. Are we going to get them all in? One, two, three, four, five, six Benjamin bunnies. <laughs> Are they going in? That one came back out. I think this might be it, folks. I think this might be it. This is it. I think we finally filled the bar. This one's not coming back out or going in. That's it. That is it. So well, that'll be a video on its own. So congratulations to the 40 people watching that have just seen the gold bar finally be... Oh, no, it's no. <laughs> How after all that, it just falls in? I think that's... Uh, uh, nah, plenty of room. We might have to call it quits. Hey, what do you think? Do you think that's it? Do you think that's it? Hit it with a hammer? No, I'm not hitting anything with a hammer. Although I, I do have a ha hammer in here. Just in case anybody tries to break into my cupboard when I'm here, eh? That's it. Are we saying that's it? Right. That is it then. The masses. Right, this will give you some insight into how much is in this, even though you don't know the weight of the gold bar in the first place. But if you're watching the live stream, it might give you a better guess. There is 1.069 kilos in this gold bar 
So, look at only moving the earth. Let's make sure they've done that right. That's, that wasn't right at all, was it? Because it was hanging off. There is 2.5 kilograms in that bar. 2.55 kilograms in that bar. There you go. Say about 250 quid. Possibly. Ah, uh, I don't know. That's a full. That's a full bag of fifty pences. You think? Right. Everybody's saying it's full. She'll be full. Right. That's it. Full. I'll have to do a video on that then. That's it. It's full. The masses have spoken. Twenty eighth of January at twenty nine minutes past seven. Remember the day, Stevie. The bar is full. Do it as a giveaway, like the first thing. Are you, are you mad? <laughs> How heavy is the empty But Well, I don't know. 2.5 kilograms, 2.5 kilograms. No bad. 8 grams per 50p, 150. 150 quid, 180, 380 quid. Oof. Let's put it in perspective. Where did I just what did I just do with the 50 pences? Let's put it in perspective. This is 250 quid, give or take. So there's a wee insight for you, for all these people. I'm going to have a guess. That's what about 550 pences look like. Enough for a return flight? It might be. I could get a return flight to Cardiff for that, maybe. I'll maybe pay for my weekend at the Mint. Who knows? <laughs> Cost about 400 quid to post it. Five hundred quid. Anyway, guesses another time on another video. Just a little bit of fun. It's taken me about six months to fill it, right enough. Two Beatrix Potter anniversaries. I have loads of these. I'm still saving them. Another two 2016s. Squirrel Nutkin, which I'm pretty happy to see. And a Peter Rabbit. I don't tend to find a lot of these squirrel nutkins, so that's pretty good. Battle of Hastings. Cool design. Two coins of this, 50 pence hunt anyway. I think the WWF takes it for me. The canoeing's pretty cool, but it's not one of my favourite 50 pences, has to be said. WWF for me this hunt. What do you think? Right, let's get cracked on with this uh, this two pound hunt then. I've had a pretty decent day for findings like. Did a 10p hunt earlier on today. If you want to go and check it out, if you've not already seen, well that definitely didn't come for it. We got all this lot from a 10 pence hunt earlier on today. That's pretty cool. And this, this as well. I found that in a hunt. In the hunt, which was pretty smart. Albanian. Defo the WWF. Ronnie Richard Cuts, hello. I've seen you in for a wee while. 
how you doing? The weight makes it a lot easier to guess the amount if you know how much the gold bar weighed in the first place. Oh, there you go. That's probably about the... Has anybody went to the Royal Mint and tried to lift the gold bar at the Royal Mint? It's about as heavy as that. I don't think so. I think that one's a bit heavier. WWF, WWF. I have four WFs and two canoe and I see the canoe. WWF, WWF. 312.50. Who knows? I don't know. <laughs> well, that's a good. We'll find out soon enough. So I know in here somewhere, because I saw it through the bag, this one's not been stamped, so I don't know where it came from. It came from the post office, but I don't know what post office. I know in here somewhere there is a Shakespeare. So let's see if we can complete the full Shakespeare set. That'd be good. Twenty-five bags. Yeah, the Albanian coin passed off as a ten pence. It is pretty much identical size, and it's worth thirty-five pence. Yes. Right, so I'm hoping in this as well that there's a Navy Centenary. Because I can't seem to find Navy Centenaries now. Can find Commonwealths all day long. Don't worry about that. We'll not worry about Commonwealths. I'm looking for a Navy Centenary. Or a Shakespeare Tragedies. Struggle to find them as well. So that's the next two coins on my list to find of a £2 coin hunt. Here's our first one, usually about our first one as well. Pretty much always the first one that comes out the bag. <laughs> Most common one we find, I think. That, the Brunels. What else? Charles Dickens we find all the... Oh, you beauty! So, here we go. I asked for this on my last video to find a territory. And I'm pretty sure this is going to be one of my favourite £2 coins. Isle of Man. Does anybody know what's on the back of this? This is the coin I sent to James May. It might be actually the coin I sent to James May off of Top Gear. <laughs> Lovely. So that's me back to having a spare one again. Because my last spare I sent to James May off of Top Gear. And if you've not seen that video, you need to go and watch it. It was a, he had like a P.O. Box opening video kind of thing. And I sent him a coin. It's, it's pretty funny. It was on a, a YouTube channel called Drive Tribe. And people just send them random things. So I sent him a coin. Give myself a little shout out. Give Christopher a shout out too. It's not often you get uh, territories up here as well. There's the there's the Shakespeare I saw probably. <laughs> look, this is the Shakespeare I saw poking out the bag, and look what's behind it. If you can see it, wait a minute. I'll get the camera to play ball. Two coins in that bag. First two coins in that bag. So we did. We do just need the tragedies, and then we have the full set. It's easy, yeah. Northern coins, hello. Trev, how are you doing? Coins to collect is in the building. We have had some luck so far, Trev. Did you, did you catch that? Two, coi two coins in that bag there. The first two coins that I just pulled out one bag. 
comedies and the histories. And that is that looks like one of the new comedies as well. Very, very shiny. We got nine comedies in the hunt yesterday. And there is a boring Brunel. Can we have a shout out, please? There you go, Norfolk Coin Hunt. There is your shout out. Did you say you're running a little giveaway on your channel as well? Is that you that said that or somebody else? Can't remember. <laughs> well, that's three three cracking things already. Isle of Man, an absolute cucumber of a thing. I think I think you're right about this being a good hunt. <laughs> Monty, here we go again. Here we go again. Mary Rose, I have found loads of these recently. What is going on? That's like five of them I found in the last five hunts or something as well. Cucumber. Cucumber of a find indeed. Act of Union. My two pound coin hunt luck has been crazy this year. I don't know what on earth is happening. There's another Act of Union. I just saw that one. Five bags in. We've done five bags. And we've already got one, two, three, four keepers. <laughs> Just bought myself two silverproof RAF coins and a Frankenstein about 20 seconds ago. Feeling instant regret though. Why? That's because you watched Christopher's video, isn't it? That's why. <laughs> There's good old Rabbi Burns. I've got three of the silverproof uh, RAF coins. I do not have the RAF roundel or the Sea King. I'll maybe pick them up at some point to complete the set. But one of my friends actually gave me the Spitfire silverproof for my birthday, which was really nice of him. Unbelievable. And then I ended up buying the Vulcan and the uh, other Tornado. Is it a Tornado? No, it's not Tornado. I can't remember. I can't remember what it was. Steve Upton, hello. How are you doing? You always find so many commemoratives. I know, I do. Wait till you see. I'll get, I'll get all my spares out after this. You need to have a look at all this lot. It's crazy. I don't know why I keep all the spares. I should do more trades, but just like some people say, they're a hopeless hoarder, and that's what I am with the coins as well. I just hoard them. Florence Nightingale. Lightning. What did I say? I the light, it's the Lightning 2. I can't even remember what I said now. Come on, Great Fire of London. The only way it's gone, we might get one. I do know bad with Great Fire of London's as well, actually. Seeking Vulcan Spitfire Lightning. Yeah. And there is Christopher in. Jen, you can uh, tell Christopher what you think of him for spending all that money there because you watched his video. And needing to go and buy silver proof coins. Because um, I said tornado. All right, I said tornado. Miles off. Another abolition of the slave trade. I hope you've brought me some luck, Christopher, because I've had no luck so far. We've done eight bags and I've, I've, I've found nothing. Nothing good. Yeah, Jude, I think the RAF series is the, the best series 
recently, after the Olympics, that is my favourite series for sure. Like, I don't know, maybe, maybe it could be my favourite series now, I don't know. But I think really the Olympic series got me seriously into coin collecting, so... Looks like a table full of commemorative coins already. Well, you might be right. Marconi wireless transmission. And that is the first guy, Fox, of the evening. Keenan, are you going to the Mint on Friday? I'm going to try my best to go to the Mint on Friday. I'm going to try. I've booked a ticket, so I'm hoping to get done. I need to wet the whistle a little bit. And my orange juice with bits in it. Lovely. Freshly squeezed. Bitty orange juice. It seems to be a controversial subject as well. More controversial than on kiwi on pizza. <laughs> also 30% off RAF coins at the Royal Mint right now yeah I've been eyeing up the gold Vulcan I think it's about out of reach though <laughs> Christopher Collects has cost me about 4 grand about a grand in the last 4 months shame they didn't circulate yeah I know I know it is a shame how many tokens did you buy Right, Stevie Rob, have a good one. Thanks for dropping by my two streams a day. Brilliant. Need to catch the rest later. I'll only be on for another, I say another 20 minutes, but I'll probably waffle on for another hour or something like that until I have zero people watching and then I'll go to my bed. <laughs> 27 years in RAF. Oh, nice. No interest in five pound coins. Yeah. Team Tower, oh, here we bloom and go. I'm glad you didn't watch my two uh, my fifty pence hunt earlier on though. Cause that is the first time I have done a fifty pence hunt and there has been more cathedrals than towers. Talking on Navy, can we get a Navy to interior there, please? There's another couple of common ones in here that we find quite a lot of. Charles Dickens, Charlie Dickens, and a Brunel Paddington Station. That's the first one, the achievements. First one there. Is it? Is it? Am I talking nonsense? Yes, it is. Britannia in here as well. Let's see if we can get a 2016 Britannia, because I always find 2015s. It's crazy. I think maybe the 2016 Britannias have been held back as well, by the looks of things. There is one of the World War ones. Lord Kitchener. Let's see if we can find a 2016 instead of a 2015. Another 2015. Oh well. So strange. Caledonian Coins is in the house. Hello. How you doing? Caledonian Coins. Has just brought me more luck. This will be number lost count of the year. <laughs> this is getting insane. Like it is getting ridiculous. It is actually getting ridiculous. How can I find? How can I find one of these in every hunt I do now? That'll be my fourth set complete now. 
that will be number four. My fourth set complete. At the start of the year, I had one set. I actually had one set at the start of the year. No, I don't. I need another Northern Ireland. I'll tell you why. But that will go in here. Thank you very much. That was in England. Pretty sure it, uh, it was in England. Right, so. That's what my years look like so far. Minus five of them. No, I'm not going to complain, like. <laughs> you can you can have a Scotland one if you want. That's ridiculous. ridiculous. Every single bag of two pound coins I get now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Steam locomotive. Look at this. Look at it. <laughs> oh. Right. Here we go then. Let's go and try and get another. I'm away. I'm out of here. I'm away. What is going on? What is going on here? I, what is going on? What is happening here with this Commonwealth luck? 2020 is the cupboard's year, like. What is it? It's another one, Ireland. How is this possible? How is this actually possible, by the way? Every single two pound coin hunt I'm doing this year. Well, there you go. There's another set complete. Well, Demi, just put that in the top there. I'll we'll just keep it going. We'll just get. Another need for a full set. We need another England, Wales, and Ireland. We'll probably date in this hunt. I, I can't. Oh. <laughs> I've been two last year, the full year. Look at all the bags we've, got, we've still got left as well. <laughs> I was patient last year. I was very patient last year. What did I find last night? So I've still got a video. I've still got a video to go out. I found a video last night. I got a bag for the bank. And I found... What was it? Scotland and England last night. Take away five of them, Caledonia, I think. Where did I put them? Honestly, I lost count. I've, lo I've lost count. Genuinely lost count of how many I've found this year now. Oh, it's just mental. Right. If I'm missing some comments now that I left the cupboard. <laughs> oh. Cucumbers all round. The cupboard is surely luck. It's sure lucky, even. You would think so. I 
I'm just going to, I'm going to do this as a full time job now. <laughs> Change name to Andy's Commonwealth Cupboard. I think so. One at the start of the year. One. Oh. <laughs> oh, what? I was saying, I was saying to uh, Mrs. Cupboard the other day, folk are going to start no believing me now. But you know what? I'll keep doing it. I'll keep going and I'll keep going. Andy's Commonwealth Cupboard. Act of Union. Charles Dickens. Who cares? Another act of union, who cares? What else are we going to find in here? Oh, London Underground, that'll do. Another Charles Dickens. Another Charles Dickens. Definitely the Commonwealth King, yeah. <laughs> Another London Underground. Another one. I'm not even going to talk anymore, I don't think. Brunel. Brunel. Where's these stupid Navy centenaries? Who cares about Commonwealths? Don't think he's a Navy centenary. <laughs> oh, right. Come on, camera. Not going to get any better. No, oh. you would think not. You're something to the. Some of the bags have found, found the Commonwealth this year have not even been through the post office. They've just been. Rabbi Burns. So we are Navy, are Navy for the Commonwealth. Two pound coins, no problem now. It's the one with 650,000 mintage that I can't find. Charles Dickens. There is a golden guinea. Well, I'll keep it quiet. I've not found a fake yet. This is unreal. I try on you, like. Need a counter. 
that's too that's too much editing. I've not got the patience for that. I'm not even checking the years on these for the 2010s now. I probably know for the past one in five bags or something. Scottish magic, as I said before. I've already read that, I don't know. I'm still here in the background watching some crime drama with the missus. It's good that you've got a night off. A wee cheeky night off again. There's another Dickens. Lord Kitchener. UK Coins Forever, how are you doing? If you're just in. Oh well. <laughs> oh well. Everybody's here to see me find the Commonwealths. I think that's all that everybody's here for. There's another Britannia at the bottom. A very lucky bag. You're right. I'll find a queue, yeah. Caledonian coins has got me on that one. Another Lord Kitchener. No one. I did find a queue, in fact. I found a queue the other day in one of my videos. Look. Well, who's got one of these? Aye, didn't I think so? There you go. Keep your real 50 pence queues. I've got this. <laughs> Bongo. I'm actually no be... I'm, I'm, I, I was waiting for you coming in. No, that's for you. I am not joking. I found another two. <laughs> A long way another about ten keepers. Last bag. What have we got in here? I didn't even swear and I nearly swore again when I found I nearly swore when I found them. <laughs> right, what have we got at the end here? Another Lord Kitchener. I don't know what's happening with him today either. Four Lord Kitcheners the day. Nay bungle, Tron helmets. No uh, Navy centenaries. No Trevithic. And what was this we had? That's not even where that goes, that's miles away. The Florence Nightingale. Well, that, that was a rubbish coin hunt, wasn't it? Did somebody say ban me for doing coin hunts? Temporary ban on coin cover doing two pound coin hunts. <laughs> Where does I put it? Bongo. We're doing no bad. We are doing no bad. Found a Northern Ireland and an England tonight. So that is four sets complete now. And that's another Scotland. There. We'll just need another. We'll probably find them in the next hunt anyway. A Wales, another Northern Ireland, and an England. So. Uh,
I don't, I don't even know what else to say, man. <laughs> right, what's everybody saying there? Coins more UK, didn't I get them started with a walking 500 miles thing again? Angry Brit. How are you doing? Stephen Fry. Yeah, that's Caledonian Coins one, isn't it? Stephen Fry. Brilliant. Give us a chance to find them. I waited a year for this luck. Oh, and if you didn't know, by the way, my channel's just ticked over a year old. So happy birthday to me. It was last weekend. And on Friday, I was going to have a live stream, but I came into my house and there was a burst pipe in my house and the place was swimming. So... Thankfully, it wasn't a burst pipe in the cupboard. I'm greedy. Wait a minute. I've, I've missed Roman Hunter's comments here again. Julio says amazing. Nah, it, was all, it was an alright hunt. It was okay. Not too shabby at all. Yeah. Lady M says wow. Yeah. Got to hit the like button. I smashed that like button. 41 likes. That's no bad. Bungle's here, so I'll get a dislike. I know I'll definitely get a dislike on this because Bungle's here. Charlie says, great hunt. Off to watch football. Thank you for joining us. us. Cocky Git. Jamesy Boy says, well, thank you very much. You're greedy, Janet. Yes. True. Uh, that's right, you'll be finding Toshi Cats. That's next on my list. Well, after I get a Navy Centenary, then we can move on to Toshi the Cats, and we can move on to uh, Hercules Coins. Sack these, I don't know what the big fuss is about these Commonwealths. They're so easy to find. Though. Right, Angry Brit. See you later on. <clears throat> The abuse is rolling in. <laughs> Gonna go and get dinner. Watch on replay. I got a couple of cool coins in the 50p hunt. You didn't need to worry about it too much. Thanks for an entertaining hunt. Thank you. Thanks, Jen. Happy birthday, Commonwealth. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. I bet you got a spare Commonwealth to float on. <laughs> Next time you get a Hercules and Tosh Cat. The breast cancer coin. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you'll never dislike. Oh, thank you very much, Bungo. It's your birthday. 21 again. 21 again. There we go. 21. 21. Yeah, I did. I found 21 keepers again. Yep. <laughs> you got the breast cancer one. Your friend lives in Jib. You got two dislikes. Is Bungo and Lady M doing it? Probably winding me up. <laughs> you could dislike one of your videos. We need you to get more more of Steve. I don't know. We'll see what happens with Steve. Eh? Oh, right. I'll clear this mess up. Is anybody wanting any of these uh, things that I'm throwing back? I'm not giving them away for free. Oh, these are going back into circulation. Not the Commonwealth, or these. Rabbi Burns. Anybody interested in Rabbi Burns? I think I gave one away the last time on my live stream to somebody. Well, not gave it away. Sold it to somebody for two quid because they wanted one. Mary Rose, I'll have a look. I'll have a look in my spares the room for you. I do there for sure.
que tu sois pas beau, tu seras beau. Mais les rouges, il faudra mettre des centimes. Nationwide coin hunt, how is it going? You're going to the mint on Friday. Did you manage to get one of the tickets in for the for the 24 hour Brexit show? <laughs> Both are ships, not boats. No, they're a boat. It's a boat, a boat, a ship, same thing. Goes across water. Doesn't it sink, usually. No takers for the Rabbi Buns and back into circulation. Right, there we go. We're away. Too late if you wanted them. Could just offer euros. Well, I need to get my euros in check. Like, uh, I need to get, I really need to sit down and sort them all out because I can't, I don't know what I've got and what I've not got. That is the problem, Julio. That is a real pro. I keep meaning to do it. I do a wee bit and then I'm like, oh, I've just got euros sitting about everywhere. I need to get them in order. It's just because I don't know enough about them. I need to go and look on, oh crap, I'm getting cramp. Ah. Sorry for, sorry for the crotch cam. Cramp, it's no fun, is it? Oh, yeah, bandit. How's it going, Christopher? Pretty decent, man. Pretty decent. Oh, yeah. That's what I get here for finding all the Commonwealth. <clears throat> Only coins you need 2015 Britannia, Commonwealth Wales, and Commonwealth Scotland. Brunel the man, no clue who don't have it. Is that common? Or I chuck them back every every hunt, so. Aye. Boats go underwater, ships go over. Is that right? Oh. Right, let's have a look at the two pound spares then. I'll probably end up doing something stupid here. I'm breaking something, try to get this out. Oh, there we go. I didn't even go through all the ones I found for this, did I? Two more 2015 Britannias. Do not have a clue how I keep finding 2015s, not 2016s. Oh, my leg's killing me. Random question, what car do I drive? I've got a Volkswagen at the moment. These came out the same bag. Like, right one after the other. One of the new comedies by the looks of things. One of the histories. Really shiny. They're both London undergrounds. Like, a bag apart. As well. Golden Guinea. And the Mary Rose boat or ship or submarine or bit of wood, floating wood, whatever, whatever you want to call it. What did I miss Lady M saying? No, plum fit, that's a plum find. That's a, that's a plum find she's put, clearly. Nothing else. <laughs> Vauxhall Astro all the way. That's when you know, that's when you know, Matt, that you can't be bored with cars anymore. You deal with cars too much, so you just drive a bloomin' bog standard Vauxhall Astra. I can't be bored with cars anymore either. I drive an old man's car. An old Volkswagen. I've still got two in my drive that I need to fix right enough. But that'll never happen. T 
steam cocktail stick. Come on. <laughs> I've got books. All my all my albums are up on a shelf up here. And this is just all my spares. This is just all the ones I get in hunts and stuff that I just keep. I don't know why I keep them all, but that's what, that's what happens there. Eh? Yeah, I think there's too much cucumber and bowman. Hang any talk going on here, there. Aubergine. They, they just lower the tone all the time, bungling that lady in. It's constant. Right. Obviously, the two coins of the hunt were this fellow and this fellow. And I actually had to look and see if that was a, definitely a Northern Ireland, but you can just about see it. The flag's slightly different on it as well. It's slightly thicker on the Northern Ireland. It's going to be difficult to see on this camera probably, but we'll try. Ugh. There, right in the middle. You see the star with a hand and there's a crown. And this is the England one. And it's not got it. There you go. Another two Commonwealths to add to the list. The never ending 2020 Commonwealth luck list. It's crazy. I might just go to the bank every day and get a bag of £500 worth of like £2 coins every day for the rest of the year. You like it, Bungo? That was for you. I waited till you came in the chat to use it. That reminded me. Oh, I forgot about this as well. This is one of the first coins at the hunt as well. Nice Isle of Man. Oh, and while I remember, I'll try and find that video uh, that I sent James May off of Top Gear, that coin. And he told me off for saying penny, or pence, not penny. Which I was pretty happy about, getting tell off by James May's. Pretty cool. Drive Tribe. Let me try and find this video. <clears throat> For all you that have not seen it, what one is it? Episode three. And I was still to do a, a video of that actual coin because they didn't do very well on the edit of the coin. You couldn't see what coin it was I actually sent. Right, there we go. Go to, skip to about 8 minutes 40 of this. Eight minutes forty. Have a wee watch of that. I've had enough of amazing, fantastic, awesome coin hunts. I'm away to watch footy. Bye bye. Thank you very much, Monty, for dropping by. As ever, Andy stick is bigger than Bob. Back up here, man. I'll put that coin back into circulation. Cocktail stickers is this. What did I do with it? I had my big spanner in here as well. I've got a spanner, a hammer, um, scissors, biscuits, juice, loads of coins, my phone, my laptop. I'm, I'm pretty much set. Like a light, a flashlight, just in case. Yeah. You never know. Never know what will happen in the cupboard. I'm set.
I'm set for in here, Mick. Can I put my mint one up again? You can search it. It's five months. I'm going back to search it, to be honest. Oh, aye. And Bongo. And Lady M and everybody that wasn't here for the 50 pence hunt. We filled the gold bar with Benjamin Bunnies. I could probably get that one in, but everybody says it's full. So I struggled to get the last five in, but I think it's, it's, it's at full. I keep saying my connection's unstable now. Take it again. Oh, there's, there was a census. That's at full. That's at full. I'm not getting any more in. That's it. I'll have to do a video on that. Right, we'll get all these stupid common mills out the road. The spares, the spares tub. It's a good spares tub. I like it. This is just all my UK stuff. What have we got? We've got pretty much all the easy ones to find. These are the Robert Burns. Like, I'm not keeping them anymore because I've got so many in here. Florence Nightingale, what have we got in here? I don't really care about them. We have got London Underground Trains in here. That's all them. Don't know how many's in there. About 15 or something. Undergrounds about the same. Golden Guineas. I'm going to put that in my other tub. Magna Carta's got quite a lot of them. Must be about you know, 25 in there or something. See, this is the only spares I've got in Navy Centenaries. Three. And I can't seem to find another one. I don't even know if any of these have got a flag error. Nope. 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 Three Navy Centenaries. That's all I've got. Great Fire of London's, quite a lot of them. Tragedies, only got three of them as well. You're breaking up, yeah, I know my connection's going a bit bad. I know, it's woman, this, this internet's a joke. Hey, Total Coins, thank you very much for joining us. These only got three of them. Don't know how I can't find any of them either. This is all done here. This is all the 2015 Britannias. That's the 2015 Britannias, and that's the 2016 Britannias. It's weird how I find so many more 2015s. Mary Roses, I'm pretty sure I can spare you a Mary Rose. King James Bibles, oh, a few of them, not, not too many, I've been quite a lot recently, no? Um, Olympics, Centenary, Olympic Handovers, and Comedies, and Histories. There we go, sorted, all away. Or is it Jane? No, no, Jane, you said you've got a Mary Rose, didn't you? Still shocked at my spares. Some of these Mary Roses are in bad condition as well. Bad shape, like. Not ship shape. Twelve Mary Roses. It's not bad, like. Three of them are pretty bad condition though. All the Mary Roses.
So you've got it. Here's my spare 50 pences. I've got two tubs. I've got spare 50 pences and oh, so normal circulating 50 pences. And then I've got my spare Olympics as well. I'm not going to bother getting them out there now because I'll just break something because my laptop's sitting on it all. And as has been said before, I don't know why I've got so many spares, but people just want and hold, and I'm a hoarder. So that's that. It's nice to have a look at them now and again and go, I know some of the coins are quite rare. They're hard to get. That's pretty good. Right, anyway. Oh, I was just about to go there, and i just seen Purple Fairy saying, what have I missed? What have you no missed, Purple Fairy? <laughs> Commonwealth, Commonwealth, Commonwealth Fury, Purple Fairy. <laughs> it's pool night, so dipping into the chat and I can. Oh, nice one. Anyway. I've got a spare wheel, yeah. Uh, Beijing's the one with a flag on it, eh? Rio. Yeah, I've got spare reels. Purple fairy, it's just it's getting ridiculous. Like. It's actually getting ridiculous. I had one set at the start of the year. One set. They're not even out of January yet. I'll ask questions later. I'm not bothered about it too much. Right, I expected to be on for about an hour the night. Maybe an hour and a half. An hour and a half tops. I've been on for two hours, so I think it's time to call it. And I was on for an hour and a half earlier on as well with the 10 pences and the 20 pences. So I've done a bit of sitting about in the cupboard today. So that'd be that. Thank you to all my spanners. Thank you to everybody who's joined in. This unbelievable, actually unbelievable hunt again. Choose to believe it. Choose not to believe it. It's unbelievable. Even I'm starting to question it. <laughs> Right, Dave, thank you. Coins and more. Thank you. Spare Rio on a spare 2015 Britannia. I can, I'm sure I can sort you out with him. He's got loads of 2015 Britannias. Probably about 30. Snapdragon, good night. Purple Fairy. Cheerio. Hi and bye. Christopher. Big cheesy thumb up thing. We'll let you go. Thanks for the hunt. Get a comfier chair next time. The chair's all right. It's just when I got cramped there. Oh, it's blooming sore. Play the M. Good in Nacht. Good in Nacht. Good in Nacht. I should be saying that to Bloomin' Julio. Good in Nacht. Good in Nacht. Whatever. My well, German's not great, is it? Jude S, thank you very much. Commonwealth King Andy. Commonwealth Cupboard. Correct. Jamesy Boy. See you later, big game. Gordon, unbelievable hunt, I know. As as unbelievable. Not gonna complain. Right. MJ Stewart as well. Goodbye. Good evening. Nix, good evening. Steve Steve Often, good evening. Janet Smith, good evening. I better press the right button to end the stream. Bye, Bungo.